Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. The man for all seasons, Chapman, chapmanheating.com. Well, a popular iconic beverage with Indiana roots dating back more than seven decades uh, had lost some of its sizzle uh, through the years, but Chocola is back with a bang. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond with the fascinating story behind its revival. The sweet sound of success. Dan Iria is the owner of Rockola Cafe on Indy's east side. I took this place over actually from the previous owner in 2008. At that time, you know, they had a pretty pretty good business. Until they didn't. Within six months of IREA purchasing the joint, three major employers in the area decided to permanently close their doors. We had several thousand jobs in this local east side community that disappeared uh, in a couple months. All those all those potential clients of mine, have, they're gone now. They um, will never come back. So I had to find a way to bring people from much further away, either in the city or outside the city or outside the state. The answer to Iria's dilemma was part nostalgia, part curiosity about an iconic chocolate drink from his childhood. I just thought of Chocola and said, you know, I wonder what happened to that. And I've never seen it sold anywhere else. I wonder if I can find out where to get it. Uh, and then I'll sell it here. And it would seem the stars were aligned for Chocola and Iria to reunite. The beverage saving a business, the man reviving a favorite long forgotten brand. Uh, I went to the, uh, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office website and I looked up the trademark to see who owned it. So I figured, well, you know, I'll call them up and, and see if I, I can buy Chocola. <laughs> Iria was in luck. The trademark was expired and it had just expired three days before. But there was just one problem. He didn't have the recipe. However, his mom ended up having the missing ingredient. So I was talking to my mom one day, and um, she said, well, why don't you just call the uh, inventor's sons, uh, the Normingtons? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know those people. Well, she did. Well, they used to play cards at my mom and dad's house when we were growing up, the sons of the original inventor. And so she had his phone number. She said, I'll give him a call and see what he'll do. So I called him and met him, told him what I was planning on doing. And they went and uh, got a cardboard box full of stuff and handed it to me and said, this is everything you need to know. <laughs> and Iria has been personally cooking up each batch of Chocola on the cafe stove ever since. You producing the Chocola yourself, how, how many gallons, I guess, are you producing a day or week? Uh, I'd probably go through, I, I would guess, probably 50 gallons every four or five days is roughly what I end up doing. So I make the, the chocolate syrup, and, which is the base, and then I make the final concoction in the back kitchen, kitchen back there and just keep filling up gallon jugs. <laughs> mm. Just like I remember it. There's somebody right here coming for something. <laughs> and apparently, I'm not the only one. People will literally drive from states away to come pick up Chocola. And I, I, I've had some people show up like I'm closed and it's 8 o'clock at night and I'm getting ready to leave and they're, they're knocking on the door looking in like, I just want some Chocola. <laughs> you just let me in and get some Chocola. It happens all the time, all the time. And soon Hoosiers and a handful of other states in the Midwest will also be able to purchase Chocola thanks to IREA's partnership with Dave Hunter, a 40-year veteran in the beverage industry who's helped develop a distribution strategy to expand the Chocola brand come this fall. Reintroduce the brand not in a not in a can, but in a single serve plastic bottle. We have completely redone the logos. It still has that nostalgic feel to it, uh, but it, you can obviously tell it's a new logo. Chocola still, we're coming with two new flavors. We're gonna do a strawberries and cream flavor, and we're also gonna do a uh, orange sickle flavor, like the old orange push-up. Uh, we hope to be out sometime in September, October. We think we have a nationwide opportunity here, not only to capture what we've done in the past in those five states, Indiana, Kentucky, um, Illinois, and Michigan, but we're also gonna be able to try to go nationwide uh, in the next two to three years. I want to put this back on the shelves and get it get it back where it belongs, back into Midwestern uh, people's tummy. 
Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.